Greetings, welcome to week two of my vlogging adventure part. I want to say part two, but I think I've picked this up and stopped doing it about three times, four times, who knows. Anyway, hello again. Uh, it's half past five, so it's quite late in the day, it's Saturday. Um, we've had a pretty quiet day actually. The boys seem quite content just to kind of like chill out this morning, so we took advantage of that. Um, they were doing some drawing and colouring. I listed some stuff on online selling sites because I'm trying to sell loads of stuff at the moment. Um, and then we just kind of like potted. I uh, had some lunch and then went for a little walk along the canal. Um, cashed in their, well, cashed in Elliot's World Book token. Jakey didn't get one, unfortunately, from his nursery. Um, is it just me or since the pandemic? If I know nurseries are struggling, but things like handing out World Book Day tokens isn't part of them struggling. That's just not helpful um so yeah we got a little book and then we paid a pound for jake's um and then we went to cafe nero and had some coffee and cakes all around which worked out quite well i've got the have my mobile phone through three so i get um an offer every week where i can get any sized any hot drink i think from nero for a pound so i had a caramel latte which i think is worth about four pound ten for a pound and then as the barista was picking up Jake's cookie, it broke in half, and I was like, it's fine, it's gonna taste the same. And she was like, no, no, um, I'll give it you for free because I couldn't sell that now. Um, she said, if I did that before I put it out of display, I'd have to take it off because I couldn't sell it. So she said, I may as well give it you for free. Um, I was like, okay. Um, and then we just took some games with us so the boys were playing games. I think they could have stayed in there quite happily all day. And then we've just walked back along the canal and I'm just putting some tea on. A very kind of, Suburban day, I guess you would say. Very suburban. Hello on Monday. Um, I didn't really vlog yesterday. I feel like I always open these little talky tangents with me saying, I didn't really vlog yesterday. Um, but it was just like a nice, quiet, chilled out family day. And we managed to get stuff done as well, which was quite nice. And uh, yeah, I just went with it. Maybe it would have been nice to film it because it was kind of like a traditional kind of old school Sunday like I remember when I was a kid and like nowhere was open so you'd have like your Sunday roast and you might do a bit of drawing and play some things and sort out the car and that was the kind of things we did um I cleaned the bathroom um I hoovered the inside of my car um we had a nice roast chicken dinner that Mr H cooked the boys were actually playing really nicely together they were doing some drawing and colouring um they were like playing like an imaginary game together and they were playing Andy's Dinosaur Adventures, which mostly involves putting various toys in a rucksack and walking around the house. But if it keeps them happy, that's fine. So it was just a nice, easy day. And I just wanted to savour it, I guess, because you don't always get those days. Um, on the evening, I'd signed up for this, um, oh gosh, like online free course for um, resetting, I think that's right, children's nervous systems. Um, if you followed me for a while, you know that I'm really into all the nervous system like research and different states and how that can kind of help you um, process trauma and um, just in your everyday life to kind of um, stay in a good mind space. Um, and this is more about the children's side of it, which I've only watched the first session, but realistically, reprogramming or resetting your, your child's nervous system it looks like it's mostly about resetting your own nervous system which doesn't actually surprise me because sometimes it's it's hard isn't it you um you get in the moment and you get in your head and it gets a bit like and it's probably our reactions that aren't making things the best but i've still got five more sessions to do i think so uh i'll let you know how it is and i'll leave the link below in case anybody else is interested this morning we've just done the school run um, and then we've sorted out the bedrooms upstairs. So put the bedding into wash, dusted, hoovered, all that kind of malarkey. And Jakey is now having a little um, pancake with Nutella on, aren't you? He's very happy about it. Oh, and I love you too. Oh, that was nice. Thank you. Um, and then we're going to play something, aren't we? What should we play? Hungry hippos. <gasps> hungry hippos. So we're going to play hungry hippos. 
Um, yeah. That's a really good idea. Let's do that as well. I like the idea. Um, and we've got one of. Oh, sorry. Up and down. Oh, up and down. But not while you're eating. Okay. Eat your pancake first. Um, this afternoon we've got the new course that I've booked Jake onto. Other than that, I don't think we've got much on today. There's a few bits I want to try and get done. I'm comfortable layers. When is it going to warm up? I know it's still technically winter. It's not spring until next, not next week, the week after. But I'm a bit bored of it being cold. I always get like this, this time of year. I'm like, okay, I'm bored of it now. Can we just get on to the nice weather, please? Uh, so yeah, I have double layered up. Uh, we've had a nice morning of um, rainbow scratch art, colouring and drawing. And then I set up an assault course for Jakey to do around the house. He kind of wanted to go in the garden, but, and I should have really let him, I guess. Um, but I've been a bit miserable because <laughs> uh, it's not very tidy and I just couldn't be bothered with like water and mess everywhere. And also I just didn't want to get cold. So I set up an assault course inside, which is not something we do often. So at least that was kind of interesting. And now I've got my cup of soup. Jakey is having his lunch as well in front of the TV because sometimes it's just nice to do that, to kick back. And I'm going to try and get through some of those really old magazines while he's watching a bit of telly to show you that it's okay for mommy to chill out sometimes too. I need to turn the light off. <laughs> I'm back to that really flattering camera angle and it would appear that I'm working today, I'm just taking five minutes out because I have been concentrating so intensely that I just need to rest my eyes for something. For something? No, for a minute. I was going to say on something that's not a screen, but clearly this is a screen, but you know what I mean. Yeah, and clearly when I concentrate, I must screw my face up because then I find it really hard to relax and like, oh, my makeup goes into my lines and yeah, does anyone else do that? <laughs> no, thank God I work from home and I don't have to go into an office anymore. I must have looked really attractive when I was having a stressful day in the office, which was regularly. I must have been like... <laughs> so yeah, uh, it's a work day today. I ordered in Starbucks because I was feeling a bit blur. And I kind of fathomed over the last few weeks, months, that one of the reasons I do spend quite a lot of money on takeout coffee is because I kind of crave that thing of somebody else looking after me and somebody else making me a hot drink, which sounds like such a basic thing. And obviously Mr. H does make me hot drinks. Um, but for a lot of people, they will go to their parents' house and their parents will be like, here, have a cup of tea. Or the parents will even come to their house and make them tea or coffee or whatever. And I don't have that. So I find that sometimes I just end up going to Starbucks instead. And Starbucks kind of gives me that little bit of coziness of someone else making a drink for you rather than always doing it yourself. Also gives you a stonking great caffeine hit as well, which is always good. So yeah, I ordered that in, which is a bit cheeky. Um, and then I've just been doing my monthly report, which is all good, but took a lot of concentration, which is why I'm just trying to rest and restore my face for a minute before I start with the next thing. Uh, yesterday, didn't pick up the camera all that much. Um, Mondays are just quite a busy day. Um, we started off doing a bit of housework, sorting out the bedrooms. Um, Jakey helped me bless him once he stopped taking everything out of his room and putting it on the landing and then refusing to put it back in. But we got there with that eventually. Um, he then did lots of drawing and colouring, which he loves to do. We had some lunch and then we went out to his new like preschool group that he's going to that he was a little bit unsure this week he was really excited to go but he was a little bit more unsure when he got there but there was another little boy who wasn't there the previous week he was very loud so I think that may have just like spooked him a little bit he was still fine to go up to the the, the um the group leader and kind of go and get his craft materials and stuff but he was just a little bit more like looking back at me for that bit of reassurance I think he'll be fine next week um and then on the evening uh, Elliot normally goes to a club on a Monday, but he said he had stomach ache, so we came home instead. My stomach also wasn't feeling great either, so we had a nice easy tea, um, put the boys to bed, logged on for work for a little bit, um, watched the George Michael documentary, which I found very strange. Um, I love George Michael, or loved, 
don't know how, what context to say. Um, I'm going to watch part two tonight and then comment on it, I think. I think perhaps it needs part two to put all the different strands of it into context. Um, and I've been doing a course for kind of parenting and resetting your children's nervous systems. I'm really interested in that. So I logged on for part of that yesterday, which was doing breath work, which basically meant I got to lie down on the sofa and do deep breathing, um, which is never a bad thing. Um, so yeah, and I've just been listening to the next part of it, which it's a free course. So obviously their kind of objective is to get you to sign up for the paid course, which I think is £574. And although it's really good, I don't have £574 that I can dip into to do a course. So it's made me more mindful of what I do, but I won't be doing the full course. Um, why are these things always so blooming expensive? It's ridiculous. Um, it just strikes me that if they made them more affordable, more people would do them and then spread the word and they'd just get more people doing it and they'd make more revenue that way. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but that's been really interesting. Um, and yeah, I think my face is recovered now and I've kind of caught you up on everything. Uh, so I'm gonna go and uh, probably make a, another drink, not caffeinated one, because I think I've had enough of that. Um, and then crack on with my next task. Hello, 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 it is Wednesday. It has been snowing. Has it snowed where you are? Um, it hasn't stuck around, it's just been fluid in the air, but it's very cold, so I have many, many layers on. Uh, I've got a vest on, a long sleeve top on, a hoodie on, and my 20 year old, if not older than that fleece. Um, can you tell I was in a bit of a rush this morning? Literally, my bedroom looks like a teenager's bedroom. <laughs> so I think I need, might need to sort that out a little bit. I've even got a wet towel on the bed. I would tell the boys off for doing that, but, oh gosh, it was more important getting Elliot Bobbins to school and starting work. Um, just finished work for the morning. Um, I was very kind of, I guess you would call it in a state of flow. I was doing a lot of um, writing today, which is kind of my job, amongst other things. Um, and I just got very into it. Um, yeah. So that's quite good. All right, I'm going to try and tidy up this mess and uh, make the most of the few hours that I've got where I'm not working and I have no children to get some stuff done so that when I have time tomorrow when I'm not working and I don't have any children with me, I can hopefully do something a bit more that I want to do. That's the plan. Bedroom sorted, washing on, rest of the house sorted. It's snowing again. Camera's not massively picking that up, but it is snowing again. But it's just like not coming through anything. Um, just selling a load more stuff, mostly DVDs. Um, I will put the link to my vintage in the description bar in case you're interested. But I've just sold ooh, Monsters Inc. So I'm going to go and package this up ready to take to the uh, shop to post through every later on. <laughs> Hello again. It is some time later. I have actually got around to doing my hair and a face of makeup because I wanted to do some um, stuff for Instagram. And uh, I'd love to be one of those sort of people that can just go on fresh faced um, with the hair tied up in a messy burn. Um, and I probably can for stories and I don't mind vlogging in that way because it's real. But when something's gonna be on your grid for uh, a long time to come, I kind of want it to look okay. Um, and also I just feel better for making just a smidge of effort. Like, I think I probably came across in the clip where I was talking about selling stuff. I was like, oh, I'm selling stuff. <laughs> because I just didn't feel that right because I was felt tired and groggy and just a bit out of sorts. And now I've done my hair and makeup and done something a bit creative, which always pleases me. Um, I feel a little bit brighter. So I've got about 10 minutes, I think, until I need to go out on the school run. It's still snowing, it's still not sticking. Uh, I think I'll take a brolly out with me. Isn't it funny? When it's raining, you take a brolly, but when it's snowing, half the time you forget to take an umbrella. I don't know why, because you still get wet. Oh, it sounds quite heavy out there. Is that hail? Mm, don't really know what's going on out there. Maybe it's sleet, might be sleet. So that'll be nice to do the school run in. Um, 
I was going to do some more filming for some various different ideas I've had over the past week. Um, but I think I might save them for tomorrow instead because I have this habit of kind of like going, I'll just do this, I'll just do this, I'll just do this. And then having to run out of the house in a mad rush. And um, I need to stop doing that because it's not good for my nervous system. Um, so I'm going to go and just sort the kitchen out. And um, sorry, I'm just looking at the weather. It's not looking great. And um, the tumble dryer. And then uh, I'll go and get the monkey from school. I think I will have another coffee when he gets back from school because I am still feeling quite tired. The makeup and the, the hairs buoyed me along 20% of the way, but I could do with a caffeinated beverage to help me a little bit further. It's no big deal. Just gonna go and do the school run in the snow. There's a dad joke repurposed as a mum joke for you. I realised the other day that I keep telling dad jokes and I'm not a dad. I'm a faux pas. Bye. Hello on Thursday. It's snowing quite a lot. Um, yeah, school's still on. It's not so much as it's a snow day because it's quite slushy. Look at that. It's kind of cool and kind of fun and kind of nice to look at. And then kind of slushy and a bit ugh, to walk in. Um, yeah. I've just been a bit of a rebel and ordered myself a Starbucks. I was going to go to the drive through this morning. Um, but I'm not moving the car just to go through the drive through And I've got the morning to myself while Jake is at nursery. And I want to kind of, I haven't got any, well, I've got bits of housework to do. But like no major kind of, you know, I need to clean the bathroom or something like that, just little bits. So I want to use the time productively to get some other stuff done. Um, that I never normally get around to. Because, hello, next week is my birthday. And I'm kind of thinking, if I'm a bit more on top of stuff, then I feel like I can justify. Not as I should need to justify, I should just do it. But for me, I need to justify. Um, kind of having a bit of a birthday week celebration, which sounds incredibly narcissistic and indulgent. But also, why the hell not? Um, and when I say a week-long birthday celebration, I kind of mean that instead of doing housework on days when I haven't got the kids or the morning and afternoon when I don't have the kids and I don't have work I might like to take myself for a coffee or I might go and look in the charity shops it's not like I'm going for afternoon tea at the Ritz <laughs> so I think that's allowed it's probably stuff that most people just do normally this is my jumper by the way it's got on the camera there we go um yeah it's probably just that stuff that normal people don't even think about as a particular treat but for me it is um run out of washing pods so I went to get some more from little fascinating content so I'm gonna go and put some washing on but yeah I want a bit of energy to get these jobs done so I thought I'd get myself a nice little caffeinated drink and uh, yeah enjoy that well that was a very productive morning I've got some washing done I've got prepared for tomorrow Elliot has swimming with school tomorrow, so I have to get all his kit ready for that. I like everybody's outfits ready just to speed us up in the morning. Um, I filmed a number of ridiculous and redonkulous reels and videos to go on Instagram. Um, so look out for those soon. I, I think the reason I like doing reels is because I'm not exactly photogenic um, and I find posing quite like awkward. Like, I do post selfies, but I find them a little bit awkward. But um, making an idiot of myself and acting the fool seems to come quite naturally, <laughs> which uh, lends itself well to reels. So, uh, yeah, done a few of those. Ooh, just edited a video and attempted a voiceover, which I've not done before, which I think went quite well. So, oh, the expense of the Starbucks coffee, um, in terms of the productivity levels, 
definitely good. Right, I need to dash because I don't know if it's going to take me a bit longer to walk in this kind of slushy, snowy, annoying winter weather. I've got everything. Keys, this is my phone. Bye. Hi, on Friday. Today is a snow day. Um, school's closed. Um, the group that Jake normally goes to isn't on. Um, which seems kind of weird now because all the snow has actually melted. But it was coming down quite fast this morning. I don't think it's probably like a coincidence that it's a Friday as well. I feel like when it snows on a Friday, everyone's just more like, ah, whatever. Um, and they would be on a normal day. So we managed to get out in the snow in the garden this morning, which was nice. Um, built the smallest ever snowman, but it was cute. It wasn't actually that much snow. Like I say, it's a bit of a random closure day, if I'm honest. Um, built snowman, laid in the snow a bit, came in. Um, we've taken out a, like a troll subscription to Now TV on this special offer they've got for the movies. So we popped that on. Um, and we've got this big blow up mattress. So I blew that up so we could sort of snuggle on that. And we watched the Paw Patrol movie with some little snack boxes, which was nice. And then I set up an assault course for the kids um, to do, to burn up a bit of energy. It's kind of gone to bed lunch since then. Don't quite know what's going on. They're having their lunch at the moment. Um, Elliot already had his lunch box made because obviously he was expecting to go to school. And uh, I am just preparing my lunch.